Yo, yo, it's your boy EZ, and we're back with another video. I just want to uh, make this video on the Tarkov wipe and how much I'm liking it and how it's just been kicking ass, in my opinion. Um, I've just been loving this wipe so much that uh, I think I've been playing, I think I'm playing it more than I did when I first started playing it. Uh, I just really like it. I like it. every direction that it's taking. Um... To, you know, my opinion, it, it, I love it the best so far as um, Tarkov. So, there's like, I would say, three to four points why I think the game is so better, to, uh, this wipe, and it's making me addicted to it again, is the VoIP, airdrops, and the movement, and of course, the new board, Lighthouse. Um, the VoIP, it changes the game completely. I mean, so much as in you have Tarkov and Tarkov VoIP. You get what I'm saying? Like, it makes it so different. Because it always changes the outcome now. Because you can talk to the other person instead of shoot to kill as soon as you see somebody. Because usually in Tarkov, as soon as you see somebody, you're, you're shooting to kill them. Now, most of, the most of the people, you'll hear them say something like, Yo! Yo, easy, or blah, 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 friendly, or, you know what I mean? You're going to die, so then you know that it means war. So it's it's a really cool thing. And on top of that, you can just team up with the person. End up teaming up and uh, doing the objectives together. And then pre-train them at the last minute or some shit. Like, it's crazy. And it's crazy the, the, the amount of... Uh, video ideas I got for this, which I will be putting out. You know what I mean? I already got a couple in the works. It's it's hard for me because I'm not a friggin' video editing software guy, so it's going to take me longer than the average, so just bear with me. And um, please do let me know in the comments how you think I'm doing. But the VoIP totally changes the game, all right? And then you got airdrops. Airdrops is so damn cool because when it starts on the other, you know, you'll start, you'll hear it, and it will start getting louder and louder as it gets closer to you. And then once it's like over top of you or to the closest point of it being over top of you, it's at its loudest. And like if it's literally over top of you and rides over top of you, you cannot hear anything around you. So if you're in a battle and you're doing good or you're doing bad, it can change the battle in a flick of a second. Because you can't hear where that guy's going if you have him pinned down or if somebody else is going to run up on you because you can't hear. It, it's just so many situations that it opens up for the for both sides, you know, for both sides. Most of the time, it's going to save you if you're on the downside of it, but it does help on both sides. It's totally fucking cool. And the loot you get out of it is pretty awesome, too, because it drops it. It drops the airdrop. At like 70% of the way through the map, it will drop it. Little black spot, you barely even see it when it drops. And then it will like, I think it's like halfway through, it will parachute. And it will finish coming down. And once it hits the ground, it's red smoke comes out of it. So you you know where it's at. And then also, I heard around the grapevine, I haven't done it yet. But you can use the compass to find out where it's at once it hits the ground. So that's pretty damn cool. The loot's in it's pretty cool too. It's just as good as you going around hitting all the stashes. You know what I mean? That's the easiest way for me to put it. All right. The second part is um, the movement. The movement has changed. There's no more arcade AD jump back and forth type shit. You know what I mean? They made the movement more realistic now. And also where you have to, not have to, but... You're better off using the buttons they have in the game to do the peaking and the slow peak and all that, you know? Because you have, like, the slow peak where you, you know I mean, you, you slowly move your, you know I mean, the upper half of your body, and then when you, you know, let go of the button, that's where he stops and stays, you know, until you reset it so he goes straight. Or you got the quick one, you know what I mean? So as soon as you release it, he goes back straight, you know? Goes all the way. And then you got the one where he, like, he does like a, like a, to the side, you know what I mean? Like just steps out. So now you actually have to, you don't have to, but using those buttons, you're better off than just 
pushing A and then, you know, or AD to come back and forth because that shit, it takes time now, you know. Every now and then you'll get lucky and it gets, you know, pretty quick, but nah, you're better off using the buttons, which they're there to use. So just do that and you'll be better off. So I'm loving that because there's no more arcade players. Most of them Warzone guys, they're not going to be fucking around with Tarkov. The only reason why they're going to be coming to Tarkov is when drops all around. And I did... Oh, I hated that. When them drops were around, they had that shit where you fucking queued in. You push a button to push play, and it said your queue 70,000. You had to sit there. When it was like at the 70,000 ring, you literally had to wait a half hour before you can even be let into the game. So drops... Oh, man, I despise drops. And I'm glad this time... They made it where there was barely anything in the drop. So I'm hoping next time drops come around, people are like, well, that shit ain't even worth it. So the people that don't really watch Twitch, they're not going to waste their time to come over and try to get some drops. So I think that was a good thing when everybody else is like, man, I didn't get fucking shit for watching what's-his-name for fucking 15 hours. You watch him because you you watch him. You don't, you don't come there to get drops. You come there to watch that, that streamer, you know what I mean? Now, when you have those drops, you're going to have a lot of those people to come in there just for the drops. They're not just sitting there watching. They're the only ones that are complaining. The people that came there to watch you, they're not complaining. They got what they came there for. So, you know, that's just the way it is. You know, it's not the way I feel. That's the way it is. All right? So, I'm glad that's accomplished now, the movement. You know what I mean? And then, they have the new lighthouse. It's a fucking humongous ass map. It's one of those ones where you're going to have a lot of people scaving into that. So you not have everybody going in the reserve to scav. And you actually spread the playing field so there's actually fucking shit to scavenge. You know what I mean? So you actually are finding stuff now in places. The only thing you don't find anymore is in fucking file cabinets, which I love searching. Because you get like... Five times, you know what I mean? Like, there's five chances to getting something good. But uh, most of the time, them five chances slim down to just as good as searching a fucking bag. You know what I mean? What That makes no sense to me. This file cabinet has five areas that I can, that I can search in this one little spot. You should have a better chance of getting something good. You know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> That's just my opinion. It's five, you know, five out of one instead of just... One bag, and then you got to run all the way over there to search another bag. You know, I mean, you can stay right there in one, two, three, four, five. Boom. Search them all. And then all of them are empty. Like, what the f***, man? But anyways, Lighthouse is really good. Let me not rant about that, uh, about the fucking file cabinets. But Lighthouse, it's a good map. It, it's pretty big. I haven't played on it that much, so I really couldn't uh, talk on it that much. But I do know is if you go in there with a sniper... And you hit the high, like the high spots, and you just be patient, and wait. You will find somebody, you know. And you can pick them the fuck off and get your your distance shots for your sniping. So I think that map right there is going to be used a lot for it because there's a lot of high ground that looks that overseeks like the whole board. Like you literally can see the whole board. So if you have a good sniper, as in a good scope. A good a silencer, because you don't want motherfuckers to know that you're up there fucking sniping. So if Jimmy's over here, fucking real close to you, and you fucking snipe somebody, he comes up and gets you. So you, a good sniper, you know what I mean? You can do business at Lighthouse. But um, that's all I got for you on this video, man. I'm loving this wipe. I'm going to continue playing. I usually stream 11-ish. Um, Between 11 and 10, I start um, Eastern Time, U.S. Um... Every day, pretty much, I stream. Very rarely, I won't stream, because uh, I, if I do barely have time, I'll come down and stream for like an hour or two, and then continue up my day. So most time, I'm streaming every day, and if not, um, I'll catch you the next day, because most likely, if I ain't streaming that day, I will be streaming the next day. So thanks for listening to me ramble on. Um, I appreciate you if you do give me your time to watch this video. Um, and don't forget the... Come watch me on Twitch uh, at Easevil, E-Z-V-I-L underscore. Um, so, meantime, y'all stay classy and be easy.